I'm talking with Charlie Lyon, who is a an artist who lives and works in on Maui, one of the islands in the Hawaiian chain. It's an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful place to be working and living. He's very, very lucky, I think, to have found his way there. And he must be talented too to be able to afford it. No. <laughs> um I um <clears throat> Anyway, on, I guess he started out in, on the mainland, and uh, it seems like just reading a bit of his biography. I, what I get, looking at your work online, Charlie, I, I get a, this overwhelming uh, feeling of brilliant excitement combined with um, calmness, you know, in a, I don't know how you do that. It's calm, ah. and yet it's amazingly exciting. Uh, right. And I, I think it, 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 the palm trees are one of the big motifs, but you do many other kinds of painting, and I and and you have a, 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 a you know a wonderful talent, and you've developed your craft, it would seem to me anyway, uh, in, intensely so that you can really convey this this uh, mood, this emotion. Um, you talk about meditation in movement in one place on your website, and I, that's it. It's a kind of calm at the center, the meditative calm at the center of, of movement. It's like a lot of it has to do, I guess, with your early ability or and your the the surfing, which seems like everybody who's got a body in Hawaii does that. <laughs> um, so is that. Is that how it works? It's like before you catch the wave, there's a, a calm period, right? I, I guess. I don't know. I've never done it, but it looks to me like that, just listening to people and watching yeah. from the shore. They're, they're bobbing around waiting for that wave, and it's calm. And then all of a sudden, there's some frantic activity, and all of a sudden, wow, there's this terrific excitement and movement taking place. Yeah, yeah that, that's... Um, it, 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 so how yeah, did you get this, started with this kind of work? How did how did I get started? Yeah, how did you get into uh, painting and painting the way you do? Um, painting in general, I I was given that as a you know as introduced to it as a child. My father was a painter, and uh, I just it was it was kind of a natural activity in the house. Um, as well as drawing, you know, there were always impromptu uh, drawing instructions, you know, and always big wow. giant rolls of butcher paper around, and you know, we were free to do all that stuff. I was the, the youngest of five, so, and I, I was also uh, several years behind the, the last child, so I, and essentially I got all the attention of all the older ones and the benefit of all their experience. And, uh, wow. talent, and their talents too, you know, which every one of them is, is talented and able to, to draw and, and paint if they wanted to. Um, so I, I always had the painting, but um, I was more physically active than my siblings um, with the, living by the ocean and wanting to surf. I was also the only one that was born in California and raised in California. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were in coastal areas. Mm -hmm. I gravitated toward surfing, and once I did it, I fell in love with it. And it was kind of a natural um, state, you know. It was, the, it was the, the kind of the organic activity that it is that you described earlier. Um, it's, it's a big part of that. It's not really. It can be a team sport, but it's generally a a, a, a single person. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like you said, we, you know, with traditional surfing, you sit and you wait for this pulse of energy to change the, the contour of the ocean, and it comes crashing. And it's, it is chaotic and, you know, and a lot of drama and energy, but there's also a calmness to it when you find the right line, you know, you, you plug yourself in just right. And it's different every single time, which is an addicting you know, that's, yes. that's a, one of the things that's addicting about it. And it's it's free. And it was also, when I came up, I started when I was a kid, you know, 9 or 10 years old, and it, there was a, a rebel kind of vibe to it. 
because it was it wasn't an accepted activity really you know not like yeah. football or baseball or tennis or everything else so uh, yeah and it's it's that's how I got I, don't, I forgot the original question yes. but it does relate directly to the activity as well and there's con- a constant well, uh, growing up as a surfer there's a constant I uh, drive to get back to it all the time because the ride only lasts for seconds you sure. know, and you're sitting there for a long time yeah. which is detrimental to any kind of uh, you know academic uh, success and all that stuff you know because you're sitting there all the time but it is a meditation too yeah. and you have to observe and painting is about that also 